Hello, everybody, and welcome to the latest World to ZZD live stream. We are finally on track today to finish up Loam, find Matt Eatingham's missing dad, and hopefully figure out what the heck is happening on this island in which in which a mayor has pulled a gun on a small child. That's pretty much all I took away from last week. I don't even think we're that small of a child, but I'm going to play it up for the drama. Before we start, thank you very much, Ellipses, gifting out five gift subs here all at once. Right before we started recording, what I saw, I noticed. And thank you to Shea Crimson for the follow as well. Uh, I don't think we've got a whole lot of this left. I know there's, we've seen pretty much everything on the islands. We didn't find any of the bonus rooms. And I forgot to look up how to get to them. And they're not that good either. I think we'll just warp to them as need be. Oh, and I forgot to add the... Technically, there's a second game here, but it's also alone. We'll see. We'll get to it. We'll get to it all eventually. But for now, we gotta get back to where we were. Oh. Oh, that's right. I finally updated my local copy of Zeta after forever. But now the version number and the title doesn't match, so now OBS doesn't know how to find it. Let's see here. There we go. There we go. Also, hey, Zen. For the last time here in this... this... tune that I don't know what to make out of it. I did take advantage, since I'm compiling my own copy of Zeta here, I, I made the default volume the volume that I use when I'm streaming, which means I'll no longer forget to adjust the volume, which is fantastic. Oh, and thank you, the green herring. Hello, hello, welcome. Oh, thank you for the well wishes, and thank you for the gift subs. When we last left off, we fought, well, we made it to an island. I guess I can't go back to show the outside of that island. An island just off the coast, after a lady in a lake told us all about it. We gave the guard a book to keep them busy, and then we fought a guy who might have been our dad. His name was Eatingham, and that's our name, so presumably. And it didn't go so well, as you can see by the fact that one of these things is missing. We did have to kind of erase something to actually get through that fight. We managed to soft lock it. Oops. But he's been defeated. Now, why did we even go here? I think we were just told to go here to, you know, learn about our dad. Let's see. As you enter the room, you can't seem to shake off the feeling, the feeling of the man that had just been beaten. I was sent here to help me. And... Interesting wording here. I was sent here to help me. However, I don't think it was to fight. I had done that lots before. Maybe it is the person I fought. Maybe it was him in which I was supposed to talk to. But I had to go and fight him. Now he isn't here. I wonder who that guy was. He did say it was his hideout, so maybe he lived here. I'll just look around and see what I can find. Then maybe I'll know what to do after this. This has been very much the running theme of this game. You get a lead, you go to the place, and then you say, why am I here? Because nothing is up front. Like this, this plant. That looks like a snake. Ah, some shells here. A very powerful and dangerous object has been created. We get to do some file reading today. We know that this object is somewhere amongst this island, which will help destroy the world. This object was created by Armin Charles, who mysteriously disappeared after his creation was created. Sadly, so was his creation. This object was created to destroy matter in seconds, which is good for destroying boulders when constructing, or even icebergs so ships can sail safely. However, since this weapon can destroy matter like that, it can also be used on people. That's rough. We believe that once we found where Armin went, we will find the device. Once this happens, we'll finally be able to rule the world, and people will obey our demands. 
That doesn't sound good whatsoever. Well, nothing else fun here. I'm loving this multicolored floor we've got. Let's see. Manual on the ground that says Warp Machine. I have completed the Warp Machine. It has been in production for a while, but it is now finished. The Warp is located on the east-south corner of the island. It was shocking to the discovery of where the Warp had taken me. The, the grammar in this game has always been a little off. But it seems really rough in this board in particular. When first in use, it took me to the castle of the king who died in the war on this island. The castle had disappeared over centuries with some of the island. I cannot explain why it takes me there, and I'm not sure where I am after I get there since no compass works. However, no matter where I try to teleport, it still takes me to this place. I have a feeling that maybe the object that I wish to find will be located here, but so far I haven't found anything. I made the warp automatically transport when someone walks into it. I also had surrounded the warp with trees and warned people not to enter there, so it will be used only by myself. Alright, so not a place of honor. Ewobon, thank you for the follow. I'll only be used by myself and everyone else that is soon to join my team. Okay, so... There's now, like, matter-erasing guns and warps to the past and there was nothing of this sort up to this point in this game and yeah i wouldn't exactly be shocked if the matter destroyer destroyed itself it seems like mr charles wasn't too happy once he realized what people were going to actually do with his cool anti-matter gun those are the only good files oh i found a secret oh my phone is going crazy Thank you, Mastodon. Thank you for the update. <laughs> I did vote in a poll. Oh boy, we got a hype stream emote. It's it's a lady. I clicked the button Twitch gave me, and that's what I got. Plans, and I'm guessing we've got ourselves a computer here. Because so what else could a white boulder on brown be? Hmm. Seems to be pictures of a fountain, however it doesn't say anything about it. There seems to be two men standing beside the fountain in one of the pictures. Wait a minute. That one person looks like the mayor of Cannon, but I can't make out the other person. Why would they have a computer screen full of pictures of a fountain? Never ask questions like that. People have their reasons. Okay, now we are free to leave. All right, this is the island I was talking about. That's the guy we gave a book to. That's he has been he's like immortal and has been standing guarding that tower for centuries. And he's bored and we gave him a single book and he's like, wow. Now we're friends. OK, so we were told. Oh, I'm on the verge of death. Um. Oh, we're going to get into a fight here whether we want to or not. That's right, that boss fight did take quite a bit out of me. We should be heading to the corner of the island. I don't know if I can just go go there. I think I need something. Now let's see, it's not far. It's like one or two boards over. And if we need to get something, I think we get it at a store. Oh, nope. It looks like somebody has already snapped the tree branches to get by. I guess I'll just follow that same path. So this is how the game keeps you from getting in here earlier. There's just some objects here instead. Uh, okay, if we can get here, I think I am going to run to town. 10 health is not good. 69 ammo, that's nice, but... <laughs> That's the town that has horrible prices, so. Lions. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about this game's battle system. Because these enemies don't go anywhere near you.
So it really doesn't take much to just get... They're just a drain on your ammo more so than your health. Unless you have to actually get, like, ambushed and just be right where they spawn when they spawn in. All right, here's our town. Cannon. Once again, going to be sad that the shop is, like, three screens away in here. But I like, I like this big town. Oh, I think Lima's had some fun ideas for this. It does feel like a big island with big towns. It just feels like a big place. Uh, I wanted the inn. I didn't want to actually shop here, but... Well, I have $400. Why not? Inn's here. Okay. I don't think... There's no, like, shovel, right? Ricky, boy lion, the old rare white snake, gloves, flowers, these are just boxes, blue diamonds, gingerbread man, red ammo. Alright, so none of this is any good then. Okay. There is nowhere to go but forward. And then... I think we're going to go to another dimension. As one does. I'm going to get in at least one more fight. Going to be on the same board again. Rough luck. Oh, we got tigers this time. Okay. Oh, and tigers are at least a bit more threatening. All that talk about these things being not being a threat whatsoever, and I'm like, ah oh, man, I really don't want to take any damage here. I'd like to have as much health as possible. I'm surprised there's no other, like, health purchases to boost your health above 100. Very few games commit to a, to a maximum like this, and I think it's kind of neat that this does. Okay. Finally get to this place. Is this just our warp? It's just a hole in the ground? Yes. You slowly appear onto the new location after using the warp. Now where am I? Is this the place where the castle is? I wonder where it could be. As you look around, all you see is a dead environment. Nothing is living around you. Dead trees engulf the whole island. The brown atmosphere makes you feel depressed. Not like the previous lushy green island. You decide to continue on your journey and get off this island as fast as you can. Branch debris, skeletons. I'm sure there's going to be something important here. Oh. You know what? Those lions can just stay there. I don't care. If the game thinks you're in an encounter, it won't ever do another so we can just be done with encounters whenever we like i think this is a good stopping point for them we've gotten everything out of them we're gonna we've got plenty of money i know there's gotta be more to this than just ranch debris I didn't set my card. Here we go. Okay, there's something here. Uh, which side? Which side? Can I just not interact with that? There's a hole in the tree. There's surely something. Skimmer. Hey, what are you doing on this island? You must have used the teleport to get here. Once the boss finds out about this, you are sure in deep trouble. Please give me your name. Matt has a bad habit of just listening to everybody, so I'm, I won't be surprised if we do. I, I'm sorry, I, I thought I was allowed to use it. You see, I am part of the gang now, so I sort of thought I was allowed to use it. Alright, Matthew has learned how to lie. New, eh? Hmm, I ain't hear of any new members. I am not one to be kidded, so if I found out you're lying to me, you're just gonna get it. 
I'm just gonna check this out. So just stand right there while I foam the boss. Oh, I wouldn't do that. The boss is um busy doing a project. He told me earlier he didn't want to be disturbed, so I'd advise not to phone him. He may be getting mad enough to dispose of you. Oh, good thinking. He does have a bad temper sometimes, so I'll just have to take your advice and not call him. However, I still need some proof that you are in the gang, since I can't phone the boss. You do have some proof, don't you? Um, I did. It was a manual how to use the teleporting machine, and told me where it was located and such. But I must have dropped it before teleporting. That must be some proof. Powerful lies now. I, I know of the book you are talking about. I looked at the book myself. But I was smart enough to remember everything I read and didn't need to bring it with me. You're okay to me. I knew there was something about you that made you look like you were part of this gang. But you can't take chances. I just can't put my finger on it. I still can't let you by though, because if you are right and the boss is busy, he will not want anyone to pass. Sorry. So all that was for nothing then, huh? I mean, I guess we didn't get shot and killed. I have to get to that castle since I came this far. Maybe there's something on this island that will help me get across. Uh, can I do anything with this, or is it still just... Surrounded by water. This is the most conspicuous thing. I guess there's more down here. Just one, please. Uh, no, there's not more down here. I'm looking... I'm reading my arrows wrong. I also got any of these branches. Oh no, there's more up here. Ah, okay. As a weak spot in the fence, I'm sure, or a gate of some sort, and there is something blue here. Seems to be something under the dirt. So you clear the dirt away, you find an object that looks somewhat like a gun. Could this be the gun that those people have been trying to find for? I hope not. For the longest time? Nah, they've been searching for some time now, so for me to find it that fast is not likely. You pick it up and look at it. As you study it carefully, you notice that it does have a trigger. Pointing it at a branch on the ground, you fire the weapon. The backfire of the gun sends you back a foot. Opening your eyes after the shock from the power of the gun, you see only a pile of dust where the branch was once located. Oh my, I think that this is really the gun. I must get rid of it before it gets in the wrong hands. You keep the gun for now. Alright. I think this puts the odds in our favor. Now that we have the Acme Disintegrating Pistol here. Okay, looking at the fence, it looks like somebody had broken through to get by. Probably had special equipment to get by. Equipment you don't have. Can I zap it? Guess not. Can I... Do I zap the guard? Do I really kill a person instead of, like, erasing a chunk of fence? Oh, but yeah. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. May God forgive me. <laughs> you pick up the gun and aim it at the guard. In a matter of seconds, after the excruciating screams of agony, nothing was left except a pile of ashes. You quickly throw the gun into the lake, where hopefully no one will ever find it again. Wow. Quite a lot of establishing that gun. For that. Presumably we've been shooting a gun this entire time, too. Like, we could have just shot this man with a regular gun and not erased from existence gun. But now, at least, we made it to the cool castle, where the, the king once reigned before he fell in battle at the start. You can remember that ancient history lesson now. Java, hello. I am selling ammo and healings. That's good. Okay, so you don't have to go all the way back to the inn. Uh, I'm guessing this is also 32? Yeah, okay, that just resets. I'll take my points. 50 ammo for 15. I have no idea if that pricing is good, but it's here. I love the little emblem above the the entrance there. Oh, 
As you sneak up to the person hovering over the dead body, you realize that it is the mayor of Ganon. I knew it! Huh? Oh no, please, Matt. Don't look at this the wrong way. It doesn't look like what you were thinking. What do you want me to believe? Every time I see you, you're doing something wrong. You tell me to kill an innocent person, I catch you inside the house of my father, and now this. And you expect me to still believe that you are good. Who was this person you killed? Another innocent person that happened to find your teleport machine? That's not some big talk for somebody who just disintegrated a man. Listen, Matt, I am not evil. I killed this person because he was evil. You have to believe me. No, fuck that. Whoa. Matt, I don't think Matt said a swear before. I can't believe anything you say. I know the whole truth now. You're the one that has been doing evil throughout the island. I know about the object of destruction. I know that you want to rule this island. And I don't want to come to this, but I will have to put an end to you and all of your evil companions. What? No, please, you have to listen. I'm sorry, no. And then you punch the mayor right in the face. And then he looks at you sadly. I'm sorry you want it to be this way. I truly am. Oh, yeah, okay. So now we do a showdown with the evil mayor. Oh, he can make lions? That's fun. That's a useful power. Wow, he's really good at it, too. Please stop. Although I guess I can just heal the full health here. Chavo is on this very board. And it weakens the battle here. You're making a great mistake. just took a chunk out of the castle. Oh my god, how many hits does this guy take? Oh, hey, don't hide in there. That's it, you're going on and storming stars. Oh, but there's too many lines for me to just ignore the star for a bit. Javo. Oh no! He killed Javo, too! I didn't know that could happen. I was going to make use of his services very soon. I don't... Okay, that's just telling me I can't go up. How many hits? I'm gonna run out of ammo, and Jalo is dead. Why won't you die? There's no way you take this many hits. Yeah. What's, uh... Going on here? Oh, he threw another star. What? What's? What's with this body? Anything? He's dead, all right. I don't think I can just. I like you can hear the duplicator. There's definitely going to be a warp out of here. And I missed with my last shot. This one. I see if I can investigate this. No, I'm going to reload this fight. Is that just the mayor has beaten me? It is as simple as that. Okay, let's step away from Java. I, I very much need Java to be alive. Get down here, Mayor. No! Okay. Java, you, you gotta go somewhere else, please. Down this way. Southwest. Yeah, yeah, to a corner. Stay down here. Stay so far away. I was all excited for him to be here. 
Look at that, he's eating the trees now. Alright, you know what? I have points to spare. Do I have to, like, catch him over the head? Is this one of these fights? No, that's clearly not doing anything. Don't you dare shoot left. Get down here. This awful mayor. Why will this man not die? You can hear that little click noise. That's what I'm saying! Why won't you stop? God damn it! Okay. Ugh. Matt, you have no idea of what you just did. Good. I mean, unless this guy wasn't evil, actually. Unless this guy's actually been nice the whole time. But he had me fooled. I just know that I've beaten you. Now the sign will be safe from the evil that was spread by you. No more monsters. No more blood. No more you. I am not evil. All I can say is, may God have mercy on your soul. C.A. Mayor C.A. passes away. Wahaha. -ha. Who's there? There's no reply, but you are suddenly captured by a man and brought inside the castle. Oh, can I? Ah, I was hoping I could talk to Jabo in time. Okay. What's going on here? Why have you captured me? Ha ha ha, don't you recognize me? You were so sure of yourself when you had me defeated in the tower. I love, yeah, the mayor. <laughs> I love the evil mayor so much. He's such a fun character because he's absolutely absurd. I told you I would be back. I am actually proud of you. You got rid of the competition. Smiles evilishly. Hee hee hee. That's right, Matt. Getting rid of the mayor of Ganon was very impressive. He was the only person that knew of our plans, and you had gone and killed him. Ha 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 ha. How could he have been the good person? He had me kill an innocent person, and I kept on finding him doing things that a normal mayor wouldn't do. Ah, uh, that's because he knew what we were planning, and he wouldn't join us. We've been trying to get rid of him for ages, but couldn't let the villagers know what was going on. When you had killed that innocent person in his town, we were kind of worried. That lady was the only person that knew of C.A.'s thoughts. She knew that he was planning on killing me, but didn't know why. Having her killed helped him keep, keep his plans quiet from the town. But I guess it didn't matter, since you killed him anyway. Ha ha ha. Be quiet. I didn't know that he was innocent. No, he only screamed it at you all the time. You are a very stubborn man, Matt. That impresses us. We have been watching you ever since you entered this island, and you have been proving yourself wise. We were shocked to see you enter that cave and disrupt those monsters, as well as saving Shade Man from the monsters. Damn monsters, I still can't believe that they had captured me. We have to figure out how to close that cave down. But I guess it doesn't matter much since Matt had killed all the monsters in there so far. Man, Matt, you sure are helpful to us. I still don't get it. Why did you raise that cave from the ground? What are you planning on doing? Well, I wasn't around when the cave was brought up. It was Shademan here that had done that. After the war with the king, Shademan killed the king and took this gem from his neck. The gem of Ebius? It has powers that will help you. A very powerful gem. Ah, you have heard of it, I see. They should know this if they've been spying on me the entire time. Stupid thing never worked for me. I had the battle and almost had myself killed for nothing. When I placed it in the pond, a lady popped out, but she only talked gibberish. So I decided that I would throw away the gem. The best place to do that was to raise the ground. But when I did that, monsters had risen with it. I threw the gem in the cave and told the villagers to never go around there. It's been centuries since someone had been around there, and that was you, Matt. No, 
I can't see any of this being true. How could you two have lived here for so long? Both of you should be dead by now. Ah. <clears throat> well, only I have been living for a long time. My friend here hasn't been living long at all. It's a very unique story. When I was an assassin, I heard of this object that would help me destroy matter. However, I could never find it, and still have it to this day. Armin, the creator of the weapon, have discovered a fountain that spurted out special water. This water somehow allows anyone who drinks it to live in youth forever. The fountain was located near the king's castle, but when the king died, his castle and part of the island disappeared one night. It was not until I created the time warp did I rediscover the castle and the fountain. We came to this island to just find our dad. I'm not sure how it works. It just does. Eatingham here has just joined me on this island a couple of decades ago. That's right. I came to this island just to find a break. I met up with Shapeman here and he gave me power. I became a very popular person with both towns. These guys are creeps. I've got to take a chance and get out of here. Hmm. I just came to realize something. I never did find my dad on this island. Maybe these two guys killed him. Okay, I've got to get out of here. You quickly kick the two guards beside you. <clears throat> oh, that was very stupid. I'm a master at assassination. Don't think you can get off so easily. I don't care anymore. I've already killed many innocent people, and there is no point in doing anything. All I feel is pain. <laughs> However, I do have enough urge to kill you. I can't believe that you are the evil one. Oh, Mayor C.A., may you and God please forgive me. I did not know. Hey, why not join us then? You're a very good warrior. Why not join and live forever, ruling the world? You'll be unstoppable once we find the object of doom. What do you say? The arrogance. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is Eatingham thinking. The arrogance inside Matt reminds me of someone I knew from the past, but I can't put my finger on it. What do you think, Eatingham? Do you think Matt here would be a good on our team? As I look in his eyes, I see a lost soul. He is searching for something, but what? It's so dramatic. Eatingham, answer me. Do you think Matt would make a good team member? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. As long as he doesn't backstab us. I'm sure he won't. The only reason I came to the asylum for one thing, and that is not to join your damn team and create terror. I came to the asylum because I was in search. Really bothering me. I know this person. And it isn't when we fought. Oh, oh my. My God. He is. For my father. My son, of course. How could I have not seen it before? That's all. I've been in search for him for the longest time. Finally, I came to this island. I've been getting closer and closer to finding him. But now I'm stuck here because some bastard wants me to join his damn team of terror. Hell no. I will not join your fucking team. You spit in Shade Man's face. Wipes the spit off of his face and gives you a dirty look. Never has anyone done that before, and neither will it ever happen again. You had a chance to join us, but you have rejected it. Thus, you are useless to me. Pulls out a knife. Shadesman, what are you doing? Slowly lifts up the knife to your neck. Shadesman, no! Fate has a course in life, and on this island, all heroes die. And no matter what you do, they can't escape. He swings it across your neck, slicing it severely. Ah! You grab your neck. In shock, you don't know exactly what happened. And only know that you are getting weak. Falling to your knees, everything is getting cold. You slowly look up at the two men. All I want to do is just to meet my father. If only I could tell him that I was looking for him. And have him just say hi back. Everything is getting dark. God, here I come. Please for, forgive me for what I have done. This is going on longer than I thought. For now, 
It's my turn. What the hell did you do that for? He runs up to you and picks up your head. Matt, please listen to me. I am your father. What? Are you sure of that? Matt, please listen. I know how long you've been looking- I know how much you've been looking for me. Please forgive me for letting you see me like this. I didn't mean to get you killed. Matt? Matt? Why is that damned man holding me? May he and shade Shademan rot in hell. My father. All who I wanted to see in my last images before death, when all I see is this man who is holding me. Yet, if yet I see sorrow in his face, I hope his son, if he has one, disowns him. Ugh. You fall limp and slowly pass away. No, Matt, come back. Cinema over. So, I think we just die at the end? I don't think anything has been mentioned of, like, resurrecting the dead. There's a fountain of youth. No, I think we're just dead. And as we say goodbye to young Matthew, we pray that his soul may enter the heavens above and be peaceful. That's all, ladies and gentlemen. May he rest in peace now. Matt, I'm truly sorry about this. I never thought of you ever coming to look for me. I know you cannot hear me, but I send my love towards you. I am proud of you, however. I was strolling along the... I am proud of you. However, I was strolling along the water thinking, and lo, lo and behold, I found the object that Shademan had been searching for forever. I knew you threw it in there. How'd you find it? I'm not sure. But good job! However, your death is not going to stop me from fighting to rule the world. Damn. I'm sorry. This is a, I forgot what a bummer this game is at the end. Is that my ghost now? Nope, that's the king's ghost again. Welcome, Matthew, a true noble hero that fought to seek his father. That stubbornness had got you far. Fate, however, always prevails. The king saw your heroism, alas. The king left before killing you. The curse of this island will, and never fail, to extinguish all heroes, whomever step foot on this island. And the king was the first to be buried in the cemetery. Many soon followed. The king has been trapped on this wretched earth far too long. O oh God, please, alloweth the king to join the many of heroes and heroines. Abius is lost, and my only invitation and my only invention, invitation, invitation to the land of beauty. Oh, my love, my life, my soul, lost, and never to return to me, for its powers are greater than anyone to ever give up. Matthew, you will rest forever. Your soul is within thou. Fate, at least, did not ruin everything for thou. You did not see your father, yet you did. Thou soul would have died to see your father as he is. Thus thou shalt be in peace. The night will approach soon, and the king shall see yet another departation of this world. God, hopefully this time, will see the king and take him with you, Matthew. The king has been trapped on this island for centuries, watching all the depart be departations of each and every hero and heroine. The king shall not depart unless his soul is returned to him. The king, sad, lonely, neglected, screeches and fades away. I know some people who exit rooms like that. Right here. I know. Congratulations, you won! Did I? The lights go out, and everyone is getting ready for bed. That soul is ready to leave the world and join the heavens above. All he wanted was to see his father. Congratulations, you won. I'm kind of disappointed in myself. This game isn't very... Yes, it is. But I kept on worrying about the size of the game. Oh, well. Thank you very much for playing this game. I hope that you like it. I've been working on and off this game for around one and a half years. 
I tried to make it the best that I could. When I first was making this game, I was going to have it be a comedy. But as I was making it, I realized that a dramatic game would be more interesting. Especially with the twisted storyline that I created. My goal was to make the player actually believe that the mayor of Ganon, CA, Cheesecake Avenger, because like four characters are randomly named after ZZ Tears, was the bad person. I also tried to hint that the last guy was the evil person, but hidden. Did you know that Matt was going to die at the end? If so, that's good. I didn't want you to know, but if you figured it out, I guess that is good. I'd like to thank all those people that created toolkits, and I used some of them, each of them, although the ones that I used the most were Lemmer Toolkit version 4. Color Kit, Biobus's Kit. Also this board of enemies. I'll just leave that board in there, since I'm not sure who created it. Hey, did you find any of the keys, or any of the ten little secrets? If you didn't, maybe you should go look for them, because I'm not going to tell you where they are. Hee hee hee. One of the keys is very easy to get, but the other may take a while. I did not find any of these keys, either in my original playthrough or the one for the stream. And as for the ten little secrets, I think we actually got a decent number of those. But I do not have a list. I do not think it's entertaining enough to try and find them all right now. Maybe I'll post that as feedback on the game. That's it. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to make another game. Maybe I will. I just hope that my maybe last game astonished you players. Is this his last? I think this is his last game. No, I'm way off. There's actually quite a number. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's him hosting a contest. Six, seven. Okay, so there's, yeah, seven more. So now he, he kept at it. But I think this is his best one. But I haven't played most of them, so who knows. This, this is the only one that got a featured game status. What did this win exactly, actually? Is this Game of the Month? Game of the Month. August 2000. Scrolling through this a bit. Skimming it. It's a breath of fresh air to a suffocating ZZT community. Is being compared to Rygar, the ZZT game. Man. Alright, well, I found it pretty astonishing still. I forgot how hard it goes at the end. I really did. What else? What do we not even see here? And you know what? For as constantly as we were flirting with this flag limit, it never broke. Except for the weird anti-dark stuff. That broke. But the rest of it was fine. This was a very well put together game. And I love the giant overworld. I love the battle system, at least in theory. Even if the execution isn't the greatest. Okay, most of these are just blank boards. The story kind of goes all over the place, but in a fun way. I just think there's... It's, it's just loaded with stuff. And it does a pretty decent job of it. That's the finale. Yeah, okay. So the only thing we missed were these, these bonus rooms where we have to find the keys. I think one of them is like in the flowers on the west coast or something, but... Supposed to do is go into one of these bonus houses, find one of these keys. Oh, he's on to us. Okay, some anti cheat there. Fantastic. Let's just go directly to the game room. And then it's just got that this wild ending. I do. I do wish he handled his dad a little better in this because the object is named eating ham and if the player is paying any attention the player will instantly know that that's his dad and then even at the very end there shademan says like it's like yeah this is my my buddy eating ham and matt just doesn't react to that at all which seems really weird i really feel like he should have made that connection well, it sounds like his, his soul chose not to, so who knows. Anyways, this is Winkle. 
This is a bonus game. Catch Winkle. Every time you catch me, I place the key down. What you can do is grab the key and then help yourself to others' treasures that represent the same key color. It's that simple. Okay, here I go. This doesn't seem fun. This does not seem like a fun bonus game. Get over here. Hey. Ugh. I need yakety sacks right now for this. Oh, I got a key. He says he's got five keys. What? What's the point of this? This is a horrible bonus. I think the other one is just like a generic gambling game or something. Oh, you can't even touch him next to the wall. Okay. Let me stand. That. Hey. Get five of these? Stop being next to the wall. It is rough. Wow. Okay, we're gonna start doing some more drastic techniques here, please. Oh, I have the opportunity. There's one. There's another. Did he... I thought he said five keys. He seems to have vanished from existence, so I guess it was only four. And what do we get for this? Oh, that's right, he drops, like, random colored keys. So we got a green. 100 points. Yes, I am. Hello. You, you missed the ending, we died. 10 points? This, this is a horrible bonus room. That's not purple. That's purple. 10 ammo. I know a lot of ZCT, like, secret bonus rooms and stuff kind of spoil things by just dumping hundreds and thousands of ammo and health, but, like... The alternative's not really any better. Ten more points. Let's see if these get a little better. I wouldn't be surprised if the last one, like, kills you or something. Twenty points. It's just slightly more of stuff. Absolutely not worth the time. I wish the racetrack had been implemented. That might have been fun. The other one... Oh, what is this? It's Winkle again. Press the buttons and the platform will move. Once you press the button, a colored boulder will appear. And according to your color, you'll get different prizes. Yeah, okay. So we can get 200 ammo. That's something. Free healing. Maybe something. Oh, we got five dips. Okay. This is better, for sure. Does this work exactly? We press the button. Oh, and it's like deterministic. I think it's there's there's colored empties. And we just guess. So at least in theory we can get good stuff. It would be easy to manipulate for the good stuff. And ammo. And more ammo. Only score. That wasn't very good either, actually. Well, that's the bonus room. That's not exciting. That's technically it for long. But we do got one last thing to check out before we close the book on loan forever. Ever. Barry, Barry Matthew and say our farewells. We've also got us a uh, loam intro. No, no, not loam. Uh, intro. This actually came out. This one came out. Loam intro is dated. It's right there on the screen. Why am I acting like I'll never know? Okay, so this is March 2000 versus July of 2000. So... This is a little introduction world, I guess. Not really a demo, because you don't actually see a whole lot of the actual game. It also has this horrible flashing effect, which is not horrible now. I actually edited this. This is supposed to be, like, firing every cycle these colors, and I slowed it down to, like, a quarter of the speed. But I like these weird 
my coolness's demo is like this too where it doesn't really it's not just the first few boards or anything it's just honest to goodness here's the information on the game it's more like a press release in zct form you're not saying anything to me what about you up top you seem to be in charge here hello there i'm the info man so you all need to know well only for the future game loan i'm gonna say you won't pay me if i talk about anything else sorry so you can learn about this i mean it's it's fun to see how this game developed because it is such a big game only been starting around a year ago. If anyone's paid attention, it's been stuck on 30% done for the whole time. This program is to let other people know that Loam is still being created, as well as help people understand what the game is about and show some screenshots. If you want further information, go to the webpage where it talks about Loam. It's posted on the top of the screen. Just type that URL. Oh, you got that Times Square GeoCities neighborhood? Fancy. Can I go? You can go anywhere you want, as long as you only enter the two passages. One shows you different pictures, and the other takes you to another room where you learn more about the game. Wow! Yeah, that happens. I wonder, you know, that would be... While people are editing their kev edits and things, I think it would be a nice feature if you had a hyperlinked line, if it marked it, if it was like, hey, this is going to overflow to some degree. Because it does look a little rough. When will the game be done? I'm not sure when it will be done. You'll have to keep keep updated with the with the big guy. One page above will keep you updated. Is this game going to be too big? That is a big concern. Hopefully the game will not get too big. One game that was created, Thief 2, is a big file and it will not work on some people's computers. Oh, okay, he meant big in the in the sense of file size. I'm interpreting the big guy as, like, big shot. Uh, how big is the file for Loam? Loam is... Oh, wow, actually, yeah, 340 kilobytes. That's pretty freaking heavyweight for a ZZT game. Yeah, there are probably some people who that file would not work for. Hopefully this will not happen. And if it does, may God have mercy on, mercy on our souls. Uh, we did play the Thief Trilogy. It also went places. Especially since the first game is very much like a, a My First ZZT game kind of thing. How big was the Thief 2? Oh, that's right. That's actually the one that has an uncut version. The cut version is 340 kilobytes as well. The uncut version... Which... I think the only difference is there's like a horrible multi-board maze that was completely unnecessary and everybody's glad got cut. Yeah, 380 kilobytes almost. Okay. So this was a very pressing concern for the game for sure then. Oh, that is actually on Internet Archive? I swore that it wasn't. I didn't think to check this time. I'm pretty sure I was looking for it the last time I went through this. Alright. Mercy on our souls... Where in Loam can you get a bonus? This could have been useful. Why did you even learn about the bonus? The game hasn't even finished and you're already asking for some cheats. Jeez, you people really make me sick. You know, the answer to that question is find it yourself. I hope many will be posted on the webpage when the game is finished so that other people can get some help. Razor, if you still actually have the site open, would you mind just pasting the link so nobody has to type that horrible, awful URL? I wouldn't mind taking a peek at it. Thank you. Much appreciated. Now this is a website. This is what websites should look like. There's features. There's help. There's a lot of smiley faces. I just hope that people remember me like Jansen. Aw. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. It, it actually... Wow, I just said actually like five times. But it does specifically say that the racetrack was cut, which I imagine is to keep the file size slightly lower. God, there's a page called Pro... I gotta look at this later. None of you can see this. Good audio... video... material. Where can I meet the cast? Go to the room on the right. So I think one of these is a nice... I think the cast is the nice little intro.
Oh, yes, I was muted. And then I hit the mute button. And then I saw the muted text, so that was just in time. All right, here's our cast. Does anybody remember these people? Just by this? I have no idea who, like, any of these are. Clog. Hello, I'm the owner of the inn. If you hate the service, tough. Okay. The presentation here, though, is great. I love the, the boulder gem animation. HM, owner of the store, collect rare items. There may be something that will interest you. George. Ah, uh, George got cut. I own the racetracks. Trust me, it's a great place to make money. Just bet on the winning car and you could be rich. Maybe you can own your own racetrack building. That's what they all dream of. Janez. Hi, I'm the owner of Zelly's Ice Cream Store. Well, what's left of it anyway? There's no more ice cream since an evil man stole all of it. Maybe you can bring it back to me. So the ice cream subplot also got erased. There was the one little girl who was, like, very sad about it. Lord. One of the owners of the training ground. I'll prepare you for battles inside the training ground so you can earn money. Again, cut content. There was an arena, but there was no training. We just went in and fought some boring monsters. Hinson. The other... Everybody... The entire cast is just people who are not in the game. The owner for the other training ground. Or the other owner for the training ground. I just sit behind the counter and drink all day. I specialize in healing so I can give you extra health for fighting inside the training ground only. Okay, so actually, I think that guy might have been in there. We just didn't have any money. We went to the arena to make money. We didn't have money to spend. I wonder if you can min-max the arena to rest for... Get your health up cheaper. Genie, I'm the merchant in Ganon. Don't go buying from that no-good anti guy. He doesn't know what he's doing. More like ripping you off. Buy from me, trust me. I do... Was it Genie, though? There was the second shopkeeper. I am I, Genie. I don't want to be Genie. Hey, Violvis. I'm the other merchant in canon. Personally, I believe that Gan got their name from our town. I think that Genie Ripoff doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't think he's... He thinks he sells the best, but he doesn't. Buy from me. Let's give a hand to the business people. Now let's bring out the not-so-important people. Boy. That's a common attitude. Are these... Is one of these the mayor? Ice Beagle. Oh, yeah. Okay, we did meet him. He's the hermit. You can look for me if you wish, but don't get on my back, Cider. Boy, will you regret it. Winkle. Hello there. I'm the person people classify as the bonus man. Yeah, that's right. The bonus man. Find bonus tickets, I would gladly invite you into the building. But don't come asking where to find them, because I sure don't know where they're located. Ask around the island. Bonus man. Kronos. I'm the tower keeper. I protect it from anyone entering it. I don't sleep at all, so you don't want to come see me. Otherwise, I will severely harm you. It's getting exciting. Who do we have next? I know, it's the mayor's. Give them a round of applause. These two. Shade Man. I'm the mayor of Cannon. I make sure that the town is safe from bad people. I'm doing a fine job, except for the fact that the evilest man on the island has stolen all the ice cream in my town. I think I can live with that, though. CA. I'm the mayor of Cannon. I'm the one that protects the southern part of the island. The mountain cliffs are the boundary lines of my area. I am a very busy man, so don't try bothering me. I was to show the villains, but for some reason they never showed up. I'm afraid I'll just skip those people and go straight to the end where I introduce the villain and the hero. What? Is this supposed to be Matt and his dad?
Matt. Hello, my name is Matt. I just came to this island so I can meet my father that I have never seen in the longest of times. I would have stopped searching for my father if not for the fact that the bridge did not. If not for the fact that the bridge did break apart into the water. D yeah, you just. even here. I wonder if you're, maybe you weren't supposed to know that your name was Matt Eatingham originally, and it was just supposed to be Loam. But the title screen does say Legends of Matt Eatingham. Also, I guess this is this guy stole the ice cream originally. I'm the evilest person on the island. I love making people suffer. If you ever get in my way, I will personally make sure you regret it. That's all we have for today. I hope you had a good time watching and learning about all the people. So for now, I'll say good night. Wait, who's this? Newt. Oh, yeah. One more person. It's Newt. Mute. That's not even my name. Let me fix it. Which one was Newt in this game? Pute, pute, noof. This is a good gag. Oh, never mind, I'm new. I'm the guard of Ganon. You'd think that I'd get a little credit for protecting the town, but no, you get teased and treated like crap. I'm usually a friendly person, unless you decide to commit evilish acts. Very nice. Okay, that's the end of the show. Good night. Get to watch everybody walk off stage very slowly. I'm just hoping for, like, something at the end, but I'm really worried there's not going to be anything. Hmm. It's starting to look that way. Yep, we just get to look at new forever. What's our other board? I wish these things were labeled instead of just having plants. Meow. There's a cat. I'm sorry, but the author couldn't make it to this game. He's been very busy and wishes not to reveal himself. I s it's the author's computer, a Tandy 1000 with an exceptionally large 64 gigabyte hard drive. Huh. And the author's homework. Tandys aren't DOS compatible, are they? Can you run ZZT on a Tandy? I don't think you can. I know you ain't plugging in a 64 gig hard drive, that's for sure. Oh, we can learn about... Oh, Java was somebody. Okay. Learn about other games. Thief is an adventure puzzle game. You're a prince whose parents are you leave the castle. You bribe the guard. Get taken advantage of by a thief who wants you to get his hands on the magic wands. Afterwards, you stop the thief, since you're the one who gave him the wand. It's not a very good game. The graphics are not well, and there are lots of pointless rooms. Remember, this is like the first game the author had ever made in ZZT, and it just makes sense that a creator will have a bad game when not knowing anything of ZZT. Thief was fun, honestly. It, was, it had that great, I'm a child and I can now make a video game energy. Thief. Oh, nothing for Thief 2? You're not... Nothing for... Okay. We're just cutting to the chase here, going right to, to Loam. Hope to have it done by the summer of 2000. And that's it. Oh, like... Help! It really didn't want to let me leave.
I think the only other thing we've got in here, I think it's just a couple of, like, screenshots of some boards that are just imported in here. Oh, no, everything else. There's this fun little framing of just having all these characters hanging out. Who needs money when we have her? Who is her? Oh, okay, we're playing strip poker with Lady. This seems unnecessary. This man's name is Goker. Well, that's a bizarre thing to add. This place seems a little boring. That's not quite the word I'd use. Okay, we can take a tour now that we're, we've moved beyond the weird... There are messages for Thief 2 and Joe. I wonder why they didn't pop up. Is it only in, like, one of... The fact that, like, the menu pulled, popped up, like, four times makes me wonder if touching one of them somehow touches all of them or something. I think that maybe there's, like, a bind issue or something. But, okay. I mean, Thief 2 is fun. I don't know what Java is. We'll have to, I'll have to click the link to find out. Let's see. Give me the tour. All right. You're the first person I actually wanted to go through this stupid door. He's really proud of the this twinkling color effect. Okay, finally get to see all the places in Lone without even playing the game. Wow, this will be exciting. And I'm the one that made the tour. Before we get to the good stuff, I must talk about the boring stuff. First, the plot. That's on adventure to find his dad. Oaks the island. Bridge breaks. Town is under attack by monsters. He helps. He helps. Helping people, fighting monsters, and looking for his father. Those are the main things Matt is doing. Anytime he tries to ask someone where his father is, they ask for help. That's fine. It's a good plot. I think the story to that game was just fine. No complaints. It was good. Passage is going wild down here. That's the speed that the gems are supposed to be cycling through color. Which is unpleasant. So what's cool though is that like this this is not what the final version looks like. This is significantly less shaded and truthfully better. It's so much easier to tell what is walkable and what is not in this version. Nice and shady under this tree, don't you think? Beautiful, I think. Anyway, this is where the tour begins. This is just the forest part. There's lots of land on this island, and lots of things to discover, so you have to keep an eye out for things. You can get attacked by monsters here, but that only happens when the game is being played, not here. You see, this is just a model of the game. Isn't it good? Okay, let's go on. Through the trees. I I do wish the game actually looked like this. I, I feel like turn of the century ZZT was so obsessed with shading that so many games turn into like a smeary mess where it's just impossible to tell what is what. A lot of later interactive fantasies games are particularly guilty. Okay, the bonus building here. There are three of them on the island. I think there's only two. Once you get a bonus ticket, you can enter the building and see what's in there. Personally, I've never seen a bonus ticket, so I've never seen inside one before. Okay, let's go on. This is the one town that is visited in this game. Quite nifty, don't you agree? Watch out for that cliff. It's quite steep. This high part of land is located on a lot of the island, but there are very few ways to get up it. Yeah, that's another problem. You have to go on this board like a thousand times. The sign reads, this is a simulation of the real building. Uh-oh. Stuck. Uh, four, four. Oh, okay, we're like at the end of the tour. Try this again. This is the inside of the town. Card won't allow you to go in because this isn't the real place, just a museum. So he can't allow anyone to see the other side. Well, that is everything for the tour. Did you enjoy it? I sure did. Just enter this passage and it will take you back to the beginning. So I think that's it. I don't think there's a proper ending here. Enter here and don't even try to cheat because we will have to kill you. 
Ah, okay, yeah, so that's why... Okay, so that makes sense. That's just a weird work with bind, I guess. This may be a tour, but we don't like people breaking the rules. Deadly. I'm gonna break the rules. Ah, man. He caught me. Inventor. Yeah, so this is actually everything. What if I... I wonder if it's checking line. Let's see if I swing around. Nope. Well. There. Let's do it that way. I'm just curious. Okay, yeah, so it is just the, the same dialogue. Oh, there's no, uh, there's no skull on a spike sitting outside the demon's house. That's something different. And, uh, I mean, I guess that's it. I guess that's just how the, the intro game ends. So that's really all there is to it. Stuff. Oh my god, please hit up. That's some stuff. Yeah. All right. That's loam. It, uh, it goes places, for sure. But I think it's really a lot of fun to play. It's very well put together, and just the drama of it at the end is just a lot of fun, even if it is still pretty goofy. It's a really cool game. I really love the, the idea behind the battle system. Even if the actual fighting isn't that great. He's at least trying to, to solve the issue where eventually in these open-ended ZZT games with backtracking where you just kind of have to start running through empty boards with no danger. Got a fun cast. There's, there's a lot to do. It's got a lot of secrets, most of which I didn't find. But that is going to do it then for today. Thank you all for watching, sticking around with Loam this entire time. I thought we were going to get through it in two originally, honestly. I was pretty confident. It, it is a long game, despite what he says. And that's if you vaguely know where you're going, too. Uh, we will be back again this Sunday. We're going to be checking out some more unpreserved ZZT Worlds. What's our theme this week? We are looking at... Oh yeah, some... Lions, a centipede... It's kind of a mess. I had an okay theme, I had a more solid, grounded theme, but then I realized all the games that were in it, none of them looked particularly exciting to stream. So it's just kind of gonna be some... just some stuff. Hopefully some good stuff. You never know. Uh, and then we will be back again next Friday, with who knows what, actually. But you can... you can figure out what right now they are pinned at the top of the chat as well as i'm just gonna paste the link again if you haven't voted there is a poll going for what to stream next friday we are looking at taking a look at some video game fan games in zzt or checking out some 24 hours of zzt games games created on a one day deadline so if you have a preference there Then go ahead and give us a vote. Other than that, I, th I think that's about it for today. So thank you all for watching. Hope to see you next time. Later.